Hey folks, welcome back to Puzzle Agent. Uh, the last episode of Puzzle Agent, actually. How do I know this is going to be the last episode? Well, um, I'm going to be honest, because I already uh, did it once. And uh, partway through recording it, my cat unplugged my recording drive. So much for that footage. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Yeah, I've had to replay the entire game on top of that, because uh, it auto-saves. It does. It auto-saves. So, that's okay. It's a short game. It's a good game. And uh, next week, we'll be back with Puzzle Agent 2. So, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. I love this series. It's so good. Okay, I, uh, where am I going? I'm going to the... No, not, not to the Eraser Factory. I've got to go back to the Lodge. Sorry, Nelson. I'm making you run all over town. There you go. All right, any any more wayward gum chilling out here? No. Any more wayward gum chilling here? No. Okay, let's get this gear back together. Yes, let's. Yeah, last time, of course, uh, I went to try to get this gear back together, and then some gnomes showed up and jacked a piece of it, or a, a number of pieces of it. So uh, yeah, then I had to uh, chase it down. Almost got killed. Nelson was so done with Scoggins and all of his crap that he actually dropped the H.E. Double Hockey Sticks bomb. For shame. I mean, well, we're not going to talk about some of the words I've used trying to solve these stinking puzzles. But, uh, anyway. <sighs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, kitties are washing each other's faces on the floor there. Good, that means they're not bothering me. Love you guys, but stay out of my business for like half an hour, okay? Alright, good boy. Good girl. Okay. Ah, uh, snap. I can't let you go. <laughs> you just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works. I think uh, I'm starting to figure it out. I know how your mom works. Yeah? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Puzzles. <laughs> Go fetch. <laughs> Get the gear. Run, Nelson. Yeah. He should have taken his gun, dude. Yeah, he's he's okay. He's harmless now. All right, there is there is no gum. Chill. There there is gum. I, there's a little bitty bitty piece of gum right there. So yeah, um, if you're just joining me, first of all, you really do need to go back and watch the rest of the series. Um, it's short. But um, this is a FBI special agent, Nelson Tethers. He works in the FBI's puzzle division. He is in fact the only agent in the puzzle division. And in order to solve puzzles, sometimes he needs gum to concentrate. Well, uh, the town of Scoggins, Minnesota is uh, not going to get any supplies until the spring, and they are currently experiencing a gum shortage. Actually, they have serious? they have no gum right now. Sheriff says crooked as they come. Oh, yeah, that's Looks right. Like he's sabotaged oh, my snow God, movie. not again. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, Nelson, um, he, um, he, he gets gum off of any possible surface he can get gum off of and um it's kind of disgusting honestly oh no that that's a border that goes there i i didn't even notice the first time that there are borders on these stupid pieces that tell you exactly which way they need to go oh my god okay so that's uh that's it for for those I did not even notice the borders the first time. Okay, there you go. That's it. Hey! No hints. No wrong answers. Oh yeah. Alright. Get out of here, Nelson. Alrighty, here we go. Any uh, any gum? Nope, no gum. Isaac, I'm with the FBI. 
Department of I don't Puzzle think Research. Isaac can hear you. If you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, God, what a pain in the butt this was. Um. Yeah, here's the thing. I think it will snap. Um, I seem to recall that it snaps when you get a piece in the right place. Oops, much like um, a number of the other arranging thingies puzzles. Let's see. Um, oh, I don't want that. I want... There we go. Yeah, it does. It does the thing. It does the thing. No, I don't want that piece. I want these. Okay, now where? There. And there. And get that out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh dear. Oh. Eh? No. There we go. No, no, not you. You go there. And so... Oh boy. Um... No. You. No, not that. That's where that one goes. There we go. That's how it goes. Just like that. And that goes there. Okay, yep. All that's all snapped together now, so these are all in the right place. Um, that one, let's go here, it picks that up, there's another wee bit here, okay, so that's the, that's the hard part. I think, <laughs> I thought that was the hard part, uh, perhaps it wasn't. I ha how how do Oh, okay, that's right. It's not exactly Um, hi. Wanna work? Okay, fine. Screw you. Okay. This this part, there we go. This part is weird. That's right. Now here's where things get goofy. Yeah, see that? They don't exactly match up. So you just have to kind of, you know, grind it till it fits. Or wiggle it till it clicks. Um, in this particular case, there we go, see? Master Locksmith, yeah, I'm good. It's not like I've done this before or anything. That was a tricky one. Yes, it was. Okay. Uh oh. Nelson. Nelson, run. That's, um. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not really what I was expecting to happen. But whatever, we're in. <laughs> we're into the factory. Bear traps everywhere. Isaac? Huh? Stay there. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Okay. And there's a. Okay. First of all, here's some uh, ABC. Is that a piece? It is. There's a piece. I've got so much gum. Oh my god. I'm just gonna. See, no, no more, no more gum chilling. Blocked. Yes, we're blocked. We're eracer blocked. The circumference of the Earth is four times that of the Moon. 
And Isaac has gone bye-bye. Figuratively. We can get out of here. Nelson's path is blocked by a giant Scoggins eraser. <laughs> of course it is. Cut the support to drop the obstacle, but don't drop Nelson by mistake. Alright, so this... This is straightforward enough. We just follow. And follow. Follow, 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 follow. Follow the pink eraser line. Naturally, of course, it has to be the longest one. There we go. Okay. Is there some crud on my trackball here? Okay. There we go. There we go. Bury your blot out. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, top agent. Yeah. Get out of here. It's okay, Isaac. It's cool. I'm your friend. Give me that gum. Give me that gum. Give me that gum. Any more? Okay, that's it. All right. Go back. Rotate the tiles and if X is line, please. Hmm. Hmm. If you can get this furnace hot enough, it may blast away the remaining debris. Pack objects into the opening, but don't let them overlap. So it's another one of these, uh, these here. And, uh, nobody. Let me get the, get the young man off of here. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. No, you need to stay there. No, you stay there. No. Oh, there we go. And uh, once again, things kind of snap into position as they, um... Okay, this is this has to move. All this. No, not you. It's damn near impossible to pick up just the thing you want to pick up though. There. Okay. Oh, something snapped over there. No, no, no. Give me Give me the scog. I want the scog. Thank you. And it, it just snapped. Great. Okay, that is the most annoying thing about this particular part of the puzzle, is son of a gun. Trying to get everything to get... No, I don't want that. Give me the box. I want the box. Okay. Nope, nope, I do want the box. Okay. Okay, I, I want to say that that's going to go there. Okay, let's let's move this. Oh god. Okay, good. We can move it like way the hell over there, all right. And that snaps there. All right. Scoot this crap over. I bet that goes like here. Yeah. I bet that goes It doesn't go. Might it go here? Might it go here? I don't know. We have no idea where this goes. Where does the scog go? There it goes. Okay, the cat is now whining about something. Nope, there we go. No, no, I want, I want this. I want this batch right here. Okay, so that saw has to go somewhere else. Oh, right where I didn't think it was going to go. Dude, what? What? Okay, can I please have that lamp? No, just give... No! Give me the lamp. Give me the stupid lamp. Thank you. Okay, good. That That's everything. It's everything. That's it. It all fits. It all fits. There you go. Take it. Okay, son, can, can you not chew on that cable, please? No, let go. Let go, buddy. It's a USB cable, but uh, it's it's one that I would prefer he not chew on. Because the other end of it is a MIDI cable. And uh, I can't just, you know, go to Best Buy and buy one of those. Oh, snap. Careful, Nelson. 
Okay, more gum. Uh, mas chicle. Mas chicle. And at this point, almost there. Almost there. Nelson can just move the hydraulic lifts. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we have to move the uh, these little barriers using commands here. So uh, they need to go up first, and then up again. Up, up. Oh! Ah! You little. S oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Now what, Nelson? Oh? Huh? Oh, now they're helping us! He threw me the piece back! And now he's gone. Go jump in a bear trap, you little son of a gun. Okay. Uh, yeah, before we were so rudely interrupted. Yeah, see, now I have to start the whole friggin' thing all over again. Thanks, gnomes. Now, the gnomes did help. Okay, so up, up. Right, it won't go. Up, up, right. Up, up, right. Up. So, up, up, right, up. Up, up, right, up. Up, up. Eh, eh. Up, up, up. Now, fortunately, they do not have to be in order. As I discovered, um, as I got all the way to the end of the puzzle and then started shitting bricks because I realized we had one two, and three in the middle. And also, once they hit the targets, they don't move again. But it's okay. They do not have to be in order. They just all have to be in position. Yay. Alright. Yes, we know it worked. Let's just, um, get a move on here. Heck, 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 yep, 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 yeah. All right, go get him, Nelson. That's it. Let's get out of here. Hi, Isaac. Hi, you okay, buddy? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> oh no, Nelson, no, no. Oh. Oh, Nelson, you done screwed up. <laughs> Bye, Isaac. Sorry. Sorry, Isaac. And yeah. So yeah, this is the setup for the second game. Well done, Agent. Heathers. Heck of a job. This is this is the setup for the sequel. The president is pleased because as what the hell really? happened to Isaac? He was never actually aware of the West Wing's racer shortage. Ah, uh, really? Rest assured, I'm sure he's happy to have not had to strike anything through. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, sir. Now back to work. Sir, about the factory foreman Isaac Davner. Doesn't concern us, Tethers. Any missing persons can be handled by local no. law enforcement. No, no, they but can't. You did your job. That'll be all. Oh, okay. Hey, Tethers. What's a nine-letter word for baffling? Recondite, sir. Ha. Huh. Thanks a million, Tethers. <laughs> Back Remember, in you're his... Our uh... star puzzle agent. Oh. Back you, in sir. his nice, warm, safe office. And that's it. That's the game. That's the end of the game. Nelson Tethers, puzzle agent. Based on the Grickle series of books written and illustrated by Graham Annable... Executive producers, Kevin Bruner, Brett Tosti, written and designed by Mark Darren, puzzle design, all these guys. Uh, does that, uh, yeah, okay, so. So, starting next week, we will be playing Puzzle Agent 2, which picks up where we just left off here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the credits roll, because credit where credit is due to all the fine people, uh, particularly Graham Annable, the artist who's crazy artwork is responsible for this game. So yeah, we're gonna pick up Puddle Agent 
Puzzle Agent 2, words. Uh, also, while I have you here, and while we are looking at the credits for this fine game, let me heartily recommend uh, Graham Annabelle's Grickle books. I actually bought the first one uh, last week. If you are expecting the kind of sort of innocent, cutesy um, storyline that you see in Puzzle Agent, you're going to be a little weirded out. Um, let me let me just grab the book here. Um, oops. Just uh, drop something on my keyboard here. Uh, let's see. Uh, the very first little uh, comic story in there um, involves a, uh, a hit and run accident and um, just the guy going on about his day like nothing happened. And then he is asleep at night and uh, dreams of this poor guy's face sliding up his windshield freaks out and I'll, I'll just uh, leave it at there let's see uh, the next one's called Wee Man there's a little uh, little guy that does artwork that appears in a guy's life uh, let's see uh, what else we got here uh, some uh, adventures on the moon We've got some uh, rainy day fun here, yeah. But yeah, this um, this is you need to buy this guy's books. Um, you you really you need to give Graham Annable every penny of your money, um, because he's yeah. This guy has a very um interesting mind. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, special thanks to all these fine folks here, and I just totally missed all the voice actors. I'm sorry. Y'all did a wonderful job. The National Consortium of Bubblegum Manufacturers. Uh, Casey Lord plus one. Oh. You. Yes, you. Yes, me. And the Telltale Pets. Oh, there's a Stumpy. There's one named after me. Um, yeah, Q, Burning Q, Ferguson, Bill, Gomez, Ocelot. Where, there was a really funny one. Nitro T1. I wonder what kind of animal that is. And that's it. And then once we are finished with the credits, we are deposited back in Nelson's office, where if you want, you can go through and, uh, play all the puzzles that you want to play over again. Um, the thing is that the puzzles don't really change. It's just, you're just doing the same puzzles over. So, you know. Alright folks, well that is it for Puzzle Agent 1. Next week we will be back with Puzzle Agent 2. And then after we get done with Puzzle Agent 2, I think we may actually uh, do a little Grim Fandango possibly. So, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week folks. Bye bye.